To demonstrate that this was indeed an exact replica that would fool the eye, Brunelleschi drilled a small hole in the panel and then stood directly in front of the baptistry, looking through the peephole to see the real building behind. He then held up a mirror in front of the panel, which blocked the view of the real building, but now reflected the painted version of the same scene. By moving the mirror in and out of the way, Brunelleschi could show that he had indeed produced an exact copy of the three-dimensional octagonal building on the two-dimensional surface of his mirror. But now, working with the two-dimensional version, it was possible to analyze its structure mathematically. As Brunelleschi found, there was a mathematical key, not only a central vanishing point which you can now see generated by the computer, a vanishing point that was defined exactly opposite to Brunelleschi's own position, standing in front of the baptistry, but this point also determined the horizontal line which the computer now draws, the horizontal line of the horizon itself. The horizon line not only passes through the central vanishing point, but is also the line on which the two-point perspective, defined by the oblique vanishing points, also falls, namely the lines defining the perspective of the baptistry itself, as the computer again graphically demonstrates. What is clear from Minetti's description is that the panel constructed by Brunelleschi was made by careful mathematical calculation. And in Brunelleschi's case, it seems reasonable that he devised the method of perspective for architectural purposes. He is said by Minetti to have made a ground plan for the Church of Santo Spirito on the basis of which he produced a perspective drawing to show his clients how it would look after it was built. And here, fading back to the original perspective drawing and then to the actual church again, it is clear to see how successful the new art of mathematical perspective was in depicting spatial reality. But this was just the beginning. Ten years later, Masaccio applied the new method of mathematical perspective even more spectacularly. In this fresco of the Holy Trinity, 